Greetings, everybody. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel here once again on YouTube. Rob K Reacts. I'm Rob Reacting to Music, Medians, Gaming, all kinds of stuff. Monday to Friday, worldwide. Music reactions. Blessing. Everything is requested in the channel. So please leave a comment, leave a link. I'll pick it up and down the road. We're going to check it out. Today, I'm banging off some Patreon requests beginning of the month. So we get a few of these done today. Get them out of the way as we rock and roll through many more picks coming up. We are checking on my friends leveler's patreon request today and he's given me a comedian today normally he comes in with nma or uh the levelers themselves but today we're checking out a comedian he's asked me if i'd be into it i said sure thing can i come in your house mickey flanagan live out outdoors so looking forward to this just did one of these so i could feel a bit uh but yeah british comedy that i'm aware of monty python john cleese eric i don't even know all them guys man benny hill that's old school for me man uh faulty towers that type of stuff mr bean uh it's probably the extent a little this a little bit of that throughout the years from others but not where i sat for like six minutes seven minutes and listened to somebody i'm not familiar with so we're going to hear that today check it out see a little british comedian comedy and see how she pans out with what i like and laughing and enjoying so let's kick back relax check it out and in the 80s in the 80s i also went to america a lot that's one thing there can i hear what he's going to say you know i can't understand some of that so i gotta listen let's go because we went to america as brits because nothing worked here everything was a bit shit shit i'll go to america freddie laker bosh 75 quid gone america's a nice place to visit the accent can cause problems i went to new york city 1981 not bad good time in new york they call their ass where I come from, we call our house ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> took a girl out for the evening. We had an amazing night. Of course we did. I'm a very interesting man. Not just a stunner. I can honestly say I've never seen this guy before. I've never heard of him before. Mike Flanagan? Mickey Flanagan? I never. So first time listening, but I'm just going to take it in and just see how I react to what he talks about. Let's see where we go. I can laugh. Let's see if he makes me laugh. On the way, I must stop to I said, listen, when we get back, what are the chances of me coming in your ass? <laughs> yeah, I get that now. This was 1981, it wasn't as popular back then. <laughs> I know you kids are pushing on with the anal now. <laughs> Animals. Ah, uh, truth be told. She said, oh my God, yeah, you want to yeah. come in my ass? <laughs> I said, no, no, don't worry, I won't try and kiss you. <laughs> Just let me come in your ass, love. That's not bad. I won't make a mess. <laughs> I'll be in and out before you know. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking right now he's on in New York saying that to somebody because ass house and yeah. So he's in America saying that and they have no idea. That's funny. I like that. That's good. That works. But they're nice people, the Americans. Not See, I grew up listening to, like I mentioned, Monty Python a lot. I grew up a lot of Monty Python. But I also grew up a lot of Richard Pryor, Andrew Dice Clay, Sam Kinison. Red Fox, Sanford, and all kinds of old school comedians. Uh, so yeah, I got a good wide variety of enjoying a wide variety of comedic tales. Let's go. Nice people. They're not cynical. They're happy. They're positive. They're friendly. Now this is nice for the average Brit. You turn up, you go, this is all right. I'm having some of this. This could rub up on me. Could understand what he just said, man. But about a year later, after you've been living there, you wake up one morning and again, what am I fucking nerves now? <laughs> Because their positivity drains you. When they high-five the arrival of a salad, you just want to punch him in the face. Oh, oh. We're high-fiving the tomatoes turning up, are we? And they don't take the piss properly either. It's pitiful. Now, I'm from the UK, and we do a few things properly in the UK. Here we go. Skiving. Yes, madam, I'm sure you do. Fucking up people's DVDs, being one of them. <laughs> no. 
Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. You're just joining in, but it's, it's, it's only cost about a quarter million pounds. <laughs> Quite a million pounds. We do everything well, madam, don't we? What do you do really well? Because we're all dying to know. <laughs> On the spot. According to your boyfriend, not a lot. <laughs> your, hu your husband? Oh, well done. <laughs> He's sitting there like that, the old man, I think. <laughs> It's like he's been here a million times before. <laughs> it was like this when she told Barry Manilow he had a big nose. <laughs> Very awkward. Yeah, that's funny. Usually they go after the people in the front row, like Andrew Dice Clay would just tear apart people, couples in the front row, but that's nice he went back to the people in the back. Well, she did start it, but that's cool he followed up with that. Little engagement there, that's, that's good. Back to where I was. <laughs> Very professional comedian. I like, I like the way you just roll. Don't take the piss nice properly. and smooth, nice and, and We take the piss properly in the cool. UK. We trained as children. <laughs> My nan trained me up. She said, come down the pub, we'll take the piss out of people. Come on. <laughs> as long as they don't hear it, don't matter. <laughs> she sit me in the corner. Geezer would come in with an eye patch on. She'd go, aye, aye. <laughs> Lord Nelson's turned up over here, look. Mickey. But the Americans, not so much, and it's quite trying. And I'll tell you an example of why I couldn't live there. I'm out with the Americans. They're eating too much. Of course they were eating too much. <laughs> a bloke came in with a wig on. A catastrophe of a wig. Bastard of a wig. I get him a a bastard the wig, wig is a very provocative garment. It's a bloke saying, I've lost me hair. <laughs> but I'm not having it. <laughs> no. I'm going to put this on my head. And I'm going to have a walkabout. <laughs> and you yeah. lot are going to collude in the illusion. I've still got a barnet, all right? When would this have been bought? done? So he Early came, 2000s. The, wig the wig came in, hovered in like a, some sort of spaceship with a man underneath it. The wig. So I thought at least we'll have a laugh. So I let Yeah, it... so what about, I'll, I'll probably get an idea when I upload it, but if, if you know, in the comments, let me know just in case I don't find out when I upload. Uh, when would this have been? Um, the out, out tour. I'm thinking mid 2000s, like maybe 10, 15 years ago, I'm thinking. Uh, although he's not saying nothing that wouldn't really fly today. That a lot of old school comedians would have a, an issue with Jerry Seinfeld, another guy I loved. Uh, not so much comedian on stage as much as uh, his TV show. Jose, what the sub? Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, so, but yeah, so uh, I love the fact that he's not outlandishly vulgar to get laughs, which is outstanding. He, he's he's a comedian. He's comedic. He's getting it done smooth and cool and the proper way, which is fun. Uh, not, yeah, I, I, I enjoy that. Let's go. Into the Americans, I said, have a look. Have a look at the geezer's wig. <laughs> have a look. Have a look at the syrup. But don't they wear wigs over there in Parliament? Them white what, thingies <laughs> in the UK? Nothing. They didn't join in, they didn't laugh. They had no idea what I was trying to achieve. <laughs> the woman got a bit upset. She said, oh, how scathing. How scathing! <laughs> she said, why are you attacking that man? He's obviously got his shoes with the lust of his hair. But he's taking positive steps. I said, have a look at his head, love. <laughs> have a look at his head, love. Air is walking about with a bit of old carpet Ooh. on, you know. A positive step. <laughs> so it's a carpet on. on the head. I'm going back to the UK, where sanity prevails. The bloke walks in looking like that. We all turn around as one and we go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, have a look at him, will ya? <laughs> what a complete cunt. And there's the first vulgar word of the night. Right there. Are you at or where you at? Nicky, you are what you are. Yeah, I enjoy his com com comedy. I enjoy his style. I enjoy his flavor. That was good. I enjoyed it. He didn't get vulgar, um, which is great. Um, he's able to get laughs by just making people laugh and just talking about basic stuff, which is funny, man. I enjoyed that. Good stuff.
Good pick. I got to do more comedian stuff, I think. I enjoy it. I like laughing. We'll see how this one pans out. Got to roll. Hope you enjoyed that, my friends. Let me know what you think. Patreon, getting it done. Lovelers with his latest pick. Outstanding. Be sure to see some more down the road. Got to roll. Have a great day. It's time to die. I'll be back later today. Have a great day. Love y'all, my friends. Stay safe. Peace out.